一台自由風，自由風。喂，跟住落嚟咧，我哋要關注一宗咧係涉及誒，即係懷疑虐兒嘅事件啦。旺角啊，保護兒童會嘅一間嘅做一啲嘅掌掴啊等等啊咁樣嘅行為行樂。We do a, a vital job here in looking after these very troubled children. Our parents are incarcerated, are drug abusers, but perhaps 45%, maybe even more, of the children who come to us have special educational needs. So the staff have a very complex job. 可能會有影響啦，但係你都要調節到自己嗰個情緒咯。因為你如果係大人，你都調節唔到自己嘅情緒嘅話，小朋友就更加難啦。This is the children's residential home run by the Hong Kong Society for the Protection of Children, where police say as many as 40 infants and toddlers were abused by staff. In a raid in December 2021, officers arrested three care workers on charges of child abuse. They said surveillance video showed children being slapped, hit on the head, pulled by the hair and tossed onto the floor. Since then, over 30 staffers have been charged with ill-treatment or assault, and six have been jailed. Robin Hammond is a senior executive of the organization that runs the home where the alleged abuse took place. I think, simply put, the culture in the residential home uh, broke during the pandemic. Very sadly, our staff were under massive stress, and something bad crept into the culture. But Kenny Siu, who heads the Hong Kong branch of the NGO Plan International, said a culture of abuse may have already existed long before the pandemic. Apart from um, insufficient manpower, uh, there are insufficient monitoring, as well as um, some culture built due to the ignorance. Uh, this kind of culture, meaning the root um, behavior against children, become normalized and as well as tolerated. In fact, the cases at the HKSPC run home may just be the tip of the iceberg. Siu says in Hong Kong, nearly one in five children has come across physical, sexual, psychological abuse or neglect. But the government only received 1,367 reports in 2021. Twenty-five-year-old Mary says she experienced psychological distress when she was placed in a kindergarten run by a Hong Kong charity. She hopes society will take better care of vulnerable children in the future. My Hong Kong's Child Protection Registry estimates that for every 100 cases of abuse, 99 go unreported. Many children also hesitate to report abuse. In Hong Kong, reporting child abuse is voluntary, but Chief Executive John Lee said in his maiden policy speech the government plans to make it mandatory. As for the HKSPC Children's Residential Home, the group says it has stepped up self-monitoring. Uh, we're running snap inspections. We've got a whistleblowing policy. We've got a better complaints policy. While legislation is one way to go, PLAN also runs a training program to boost care workers' understanding of child abuse. Its research shows that not all educators in Hong Kong are able to see beyond physical wounds and that more awareness of emotional trauma is needed. To help adults identify scars not visible to the eye, training is essential. The government ordered the children's residential home to hire an officer on August 2, 2022 to conduct training for frontline staff. 
手同保安同守會有咩分別啊？咁初生家庭係咩嚟㗎？好問下你阿 K 姐，守會係咩嚟㗎？你冇睇幾個字係嘛？係保護個別嘅細路仔，但係守護咧就係、是、我哋要做啲功夫，或者一個可能係一啲硬件啦。我哋係守護全部嘅。我用個 population 嚟計係一個大圍嘅。The plan and doors training framework has been available since 2018, but had not been put in place in the scandal hit orphanage until after the abuse came to light. Child safe guarding is just a very infancy、uh, stage in Hong Kong. Basically, the children's organization mainly focuses on child protection. It means that they just protect the children from further harm after they're being harmed. We have the four different kinds of framework as well as、uh, 20 standards. This includes policy, procedures, people and culture, as well as accountability. In the past one year, we have been working with、um, 1,000 teachers. And they're actually very keen to know how to Um, protect the children as well as their own reputation. The children's residential home is also testing AI technology to analyze its surveillance video and flag abuse as early as possible. So we've begun, and I stress begun, a single camera monitoring a single location with a machine learning algorithm that is looking for essentially a, a child falling or worse has been pushed. Canny Su says it's important for institutions to maintain high standards when hiring staff. If we are able to recruit people that who care about children, who always Um, uh, put children's best interests as their interests, we can actually prevent child abuses from happening. Mary also recalls having a positive experience at the second home she was placed in. So, how do you ensure the future staff at the front line will have adequate empathy or sympathy for the children? so that they won't have inappropriate behavior in the future. Uh, you can't provide a blanket guarantee. People have bad days. Uh, but we will do everything, we are doing everything we can to ensure that they have adequate resources. One year after the alleged abuse, the HKSPC announced that the Children's Home completed a nine-month training program in December that's in line with internationally recognized benchmarks. The group said that it's the first in a series of measures it's taking to continue addressing problems at the home.